Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today we'll be doing a city tour of Kakamega. It's a town just around 20 kilometers away from Kisumu City, which is the third largest city in the Republic of Kenya. Kakamega is the headquarters, or have been described as the headquarters of the Luya, Luya community here in Kenya. But you do have other people that, of course, live in the area and do business here from other communities in Kenya and some other parts of the world. So I hope you enjoy today's episode and to my returning subscribers i do appreciate your time for always watching my videos liking the videos i really do appreciate it and to the new people watching welcome to inspire for Trav travel and do consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe karibuni sana jamhuri ya kenya karibuni sana kakamega <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to begin my walk just outside the Huduma Center and the post office here in Kakamega Town and then we'll just walk down and explore some of the shopping areas, the park and different things like that. It's around 8, 19 a.m. in the morning here and the temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius so it's getting warm, okay, and usually in the morning times there's a bit of chill breeze so I got a little um, jacket on here. but. It's gonna get hotter later on so i do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos guys and we'll have a amazing time exploring the beautiful town of kakamega So to my left, right there, what you're seeing is the county government office or the office of the governor here in Kakamega, and that's what the building looks like. So we're going to walk straight down. If I, this uh, left here, this is Kenyatta Avenue, but we're not going to go down there. We'll probably walk around. And down there, you'll find different banks like Equity Bank and different things like that. And you can also use the ATM and or cash point down there. So literally here, when you reach uh, here, you're coming into the heart of Kakamega, guys. Really beautiful. I like the fact that the roads are tarmac and really paved nicely and to my right what you find here this is quick mart okay quick mart is like a main shopping area here in kakamega and you will find of course a supermarket there's also restaurants barber shop and different things like that upstairs there so let's walk in take a, a left here and we'll, this will lead us to Muli, Mulido Gardens. So this is like a nice park uh, garden here in Kakamega and what's nice about it especially when it's very hot during the day you can just come and relax here you know have a sit down chill there's a seating area and all of that right here really beautiful really beautiful and the trees have, are, are tall enough to really provide you the shade that you'll need in the park with it so far I mean it's well maintained it's 
not a very large, large park, but it's big enough. And um, I can see cleaners around, so that's great. So it's definitely well maintained, guys. So this is pretty much of the Miliro Gardens here in Kakamega. So definitely if you ever come here, you can definitely come, relax and chill out. And it will lead you to back to this section of town and you will find a lot of various shops and different things like that. So that was a nice little tour of the Miliro Gardens here in Kakamega. It's really beautiful. I like the fact that it's well the trees are growing quite lovely so it provides you that adequate shade especially on a hot day it does get hot here during the day sometime as far as 29 degrees celsius so it's very very good that they have that um, garden here and it's eco-friendly for the environment so like i was saying that building you're seeing right in front of you there is the mega mall here in kakamega it's not that big in size, but you'll find the supermarket restaurants, you'll find the standard charter bank here. You'll also find um, restaurants here, barbershop. Barbershops, hair salons, and stuff like that when you come here. So if you're not feeling some of the maybe open Air, shopping areas or like the traditional markets you can perhaps come here and use the supermarket here Now, Kakamega is still a town. It's not a city. It's considered a town, town here in Tanzan um, Kenya. But it's definitely beautiful, man. I really like it, you know. And like what I've observed in Kisumu, Kisumu is a bit more, is of course more developed in terms of infrastructure. But there's two sides to Kakamega. Like right now where we're walking, if you notice, we're seeing mostly buildings. You've just seen the shopping mall here. And you can see here is pretty much like a highway, right? And the roads are well paved and everything like that. But there's another side where you can also find more traditional style markets, you know, open air markets. And of course they have things like local fruits and vegetables, different imported um, kitchenware, and but even locally made baskets and stuff like that can be found on the other side so you know you got you got the best of two you know sometimes when people travel even people in kenya or from outside of kenya you may appreciate the more modern style look when you visit a place and you can get that here you know if you go to like the shopping mall or if you're staying mostly on this side but you can those travelers who may value seeing maybe something different or you know a traditional looking feel to the traditional markets here in Africa you can also get that here as well so that's amazing I also did um, a video on Kakamega Forest definitely check that out that has absolutely been amazing and you get to see a rural side to the region here of course the Kakamega town is like the capital of this place but there's also a rural side 
and you get to meet different groups of people who come from the Luya community. So absolutely amazing, guys. So coming up to the left is a bit more of a traditional looking building. This is the county government of Kakamega. This is the Kakamega retail market. And of course you can get different grains, even vegetables and different things like that here. Um, and also you get people who sell outside. Like I said, and from what I've seen yesterday, in the afternoon time there were like baskets and different things that was laid out outside. So, some of them are just beginning to come out now. It's still early, but this is it here. So very near the canal petrol station, you'll find this street here. And here you'll be able to get different buses to go other parts. Here in Kenya, like back to Kisumu, Bogoma, Mumias, Miguri, and different places. Some of the roads are not like labeled here in Kakamega, some of the roads, so points of interest you'll have to remember, and like I said, the Keno petrol station, and also um, Kenyatta Avenue is just at the end of this road, so yeah, it's pretty much a long strip here, close to that garden where we just walked not too long ago, and you'll find a lot of, of course, small businesses and things like that here. Typical type of market vibe you'll see in the smaller towns here in Kenya.
So it's really warming up, guys. Right now, I'm just walking. I could feel the eyes are watching me. They're wondering what I'm doing. You know, that's one of the things when you're vlogging in Africa. Sometimes people don't really understand the dynamics of why you need to be filming yourself when you're walking on the streets. So sometimes you may wonder why I can't show certain things. I do still have to respect some people's views if they don't want to be on camera, if they don't want to be interviewed. But I do try my best to at least give you a gateway and an insight into the various towns and cities across the continent of Africa. And of course, sometimes we try to speak to people and different things like that, guys. So I hope you're enjoying it. Kenya is absolutely amazing. It's been beautiful. What Kenya was Zuri Sana. What Kenyan, Kenyans are very friendly people. Of course, they're good and bad in every society, but my experience has been great so far, and I'm liking the vibe here in the Republic of Kenya. So if you're Kenyan and you're watching, big up yourself. walking right now and I'm, see, I'm beginning to see the places picking up you know there's a university close by as well and a lot of people are obviously preparing to go to work and all of that good stuff So these are some of the local business you will find on the pavement or sidewalks, watermelon, different imported stuff like that. Now, throughout my journeys throughout East Africa, I've noticed there's always a clock, a clock tower, I guess to signify a central point in the particular town or city. Like for example, when we were in Arusha, we were in Moshi, in Tanzania, we saw that. And I've, I've also observed that in other towns across Kenya as well. So we're coming up to one right now. And it says, Karibu Kakamega, which means welcome to Kakamega. And this is on the Kenyatta Avenue here in Kakamega. So this is what it looks like here on Kenyatta Avenue, Karibu Kakamega. So you do also have people from other parts of the world that live here. You have people from the Indian community. Some of them, of course, have been born here. You have Kenyan Indians and stuff like that. Um, you also have people from Somalia. Some of them have businesses in Kakamega. And of course, some of those Somalians are what is called Kenyan Somalians here because they were born here in Kenya. I
I've seen quite a few bookshops and I guess they're catering of course for the school children and stuff like that. I've seen quite a few on this street here on Kenyatta Avenue. And there's also a cyber. When you see cyber in Kenya, that basically means like an internet cafe where you can go and use a computer and also you can um, print stuff and things like that if you need to. Another bookshop right here as well. It's called Go Hill, Go Hill Bookshop and they do wholesale and retail. This is another um, county government office here in Kakamega. And right here on the Kenyatta Avenue, these are what we considered more like budget hotels. So we're coming up to one right now. This is the new Frica, no, Franca, sorry, hotel. And they have accommodation, uh, restaurants, and all of that here. You know, so this is pretty much what we see on Kenyatta Avenue, guys. I'm loving the vibe here this morning in Kakamega. Now, of course, this is not the ultimate tour. I mean, there's, there's other, you know, smaller areas throughout the market, but pretty much I'm giving you some of the main spots you'll most likely visit when you come here to the actual Kakamega town. town. This is a Dukala Dawa, which is a pharmacy. So remember I was saying to you, some of the roads are not labeled here in, the, in, in Kakamega town. But however, some are, so you just have to look out for it when you come here. For example, this road here is Kalisia Road 1 here in Kakamega. So you do see some of the road la labels, like even right across here, like I've been saying to you, this is the Kenyatta Avenue and it has a sign for, for that. So when you visit um, various towns throughout Kenya and you're wondering, well, what's the name? Some of them may not have names, so definitely just look out carefully on the street, on the side, you know, some of the signposts could be in some obscure areas sometimes when you're not sure, but they're there. These buses are going to Mumias and Bogoma. This is one of the smallest taxis I've seen. <laughs> really tiny. But they get people in. Now in this town, Christianity, of course, is one of the main religions that is adhered to by the people in, in this town. But you also have a sizable Muslim population. Now, I'm not sure if you all can see, but to my right is the Kakamega Jamia Masjid, a mosque here in Kakamega. So you do find mosque here as well. So this is one long road, guys. This is um, Kenyatta Avenue. And of course, it's named after Jomo Kenyatta, the first president of um, the Republic of Kenya. And he, in, in literally in every 
city or town I've been in Kenya, there's a Kenyatta Avenue. So if you visit Kenya and you see, oh, well, how come there's a Kenyatta Avenue here again? It's named after the first president. So that's the mosque there, guys. The Kakamega Jamia Mosque. Right, guys I'm gonna end it here I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode it's been an amazing experience we've explored Kakamega we saw some of the shopping areas we saw quick mart we saw the garden area here and we've took a nice lovely walk on Kenyatta Avenue I do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos and do consider liking sharing the videos and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe Karibuni sana Jamhuri ya Kenya, karibuni sana Kakamega.